Thanks so much for coming into the Cow Cafe. Have you been here before? Oh, you're actually here for your first day on the job? Well, come on in. So nice to meet you. My name is Honey. I'm so excited to be working with you. So, the first day of the job is the best day. You get to have the full dining experience as a customer so that when you're fully trained, you'll be able to give the optimal experience to all the diners here. Okay, great. So you can just have a seat at this table right here. Perfect. So I'll just be serving you today like I would any other customer, but I'll be explaining a couple things too along the way. And don't worry, there's no need to take notes or anything like that. You're just here to enjoy the experience and maybe you'll learn a little something along the way too. Okay, wonderful. So hopefully you're already a little familiar with our menu, but I'll just give that to you to look over. Yep, you can just give it a quick read. And I just like to point out a couple of things on there. We've got some pastries here and we have some different drinks and stuff. It kind of changes. We try to keep a really fun menu here. So all of our special drinks are listed on the menu behind me there, but all of our staples are right down here in the menu. Okay, so I'll give you a chance to look that over. Okay, now that you've had a chance to look at the menu, is there anything that was standing out to you? You were thinking about one of the teas? fantastic idea. Our teas are some of the top quality teas that you can get. Any special tea that's looking good for you? You're looking at the peach blossom tea? Let me tell you, you must have a really good taste because the peach blossom tea is the best. It's only available at this time of year when they're in season and we get them shipped directly from the farm so they're so fresh. Okay, let me bring it out for you. Okay, so here we have the peach blossom tea. You can take a look at those blossoms in there. They're just absolutely gorgeous. And let me tell you, they smell even better than they look. So let's just go ahead and open this for you. This is a brand new box of tea just for you. And we're just going to open this right here and just carefully peel the lid back. Just like that. Oh wow, that smells so good. Give that a sniff. So good, right? Yes, this is one of my absolute favorite teas that we have. Like I said, we only have it for a couple months of the year, so I'm so glad you're getting it today. Inside we have these tea bags at the top and we're going to fill up your own personal tea bag. So let me just get my glove on. Food safety is really important to us here. So whenever we're making teas or handling food items, we just pop on a pair of precautionary gloves. Okay, so now we're going to pull one of these tea bags out. You can see it's its own little tea pouch there for you. And we can take the rest out and set them aside. Just like that. And now we can open the bag up. Just like that. Make sure there's a good amount of room. And I like to add a little bit of tea into the lid. That should be enough. And then we'll just take our tea bag, just like this. And we'll add our tea in real slowly, just like this. Okay. All filled up now. Press that tea in. I think we could fit a little bit more in there for you. We're just going to carefully shake. 
take perfect, just a few more blossoms for you. So now we'll close the tea bag up and tie a cute little bow on it here. Just like this. Tie a knot and a little ribbon. Just like that. And then to help this be even more fragrant, I'm going to crush this up so that it helps release all of the beautiful taste inside of it, all right? So I'm just crunching. Making sure all the blossoms are broken open. All right, that's pretty well broken up. Huh? So now I'm going to grab the teapot. We have this super cute cow teapot and the lid doubles as your cup. So I'll just set that here. We'll pop this tea bag right in, just like that, and then we'll go ahead and pour in this water for you. Okay, now we'll let that steep in the warm water there, and in a few minutes you're going to have some amazing peach tea. Can I interest you in any sugar or cream in your tea? You'd like a little of both? Okay, excellent. So first I'm just going to take this tea bag out. Just removing it. Just like this. And now we can add in the sugar. So I'll just Grab one cube like that and plop it in. How many cubes do you want? Two cubes? Okay. There's another sugar cube. And just plopping it in just like that. Okay. And we can stir this gently. Till that sugar starts to dissolve at the bottom. And now we can pour in some cream. So I'm just going to... Is that good? A little more? Okay. A little bit more. Perfect. And just stirring again. I can smell it already. It smells so good. All right. It's all mixed up for you. Would you like to take a sip? Okay. There you are. Oh good, I'm so glad it's to your liking. Alright, I'll let you go ahead and sip on that for a little bit. So, did you have a chance to look at some of the food options as well? We've got a couple sweet treats, a little something for everyone. Do you know what you might want? I could just bring out a little plate and show you a little bit of what we have. Okay, great. So here are some of our most popular items. We've got the cream puffs. We've got these beautifully made Swiss rolls. We've got some grape flavored Oreos and a little kiwi mochi there. Yeah. You'd like to maybe just try one of each? Of course. I don't know if I told you, but this whole meal is free on us as part of your first day of training, so feel free to get whatever you'd like. Okay. I'm going to bring your plate over, set it down on your table there, 
and a napkin for you as well. Just laying it there. Okay, so I'm just going to put on another pair of gloves. They can hand you your delicious food. Perfect. Okay. So here's one of our fluffy Swiss rolls. Adding it to your plate. And this kiwi mochi here. Perfect. And you do want to try one of these crazy grape Oreos. All right, here you go. And one of the cream puffs as well. Perfect. So while you're eating, another thing that we like to do to keep things a little bit interactive is to play a game. We've got a couple different games. We've got this fun fetch quest game. This one is kind of like Dungeons and Dragons if you've ever played that, but a little bit shorter so you can play it in one sitting. Then we also have the Fox in the Forest duet. This works best if it's just you and a customer. It's not such a good party game if it's a big group, but this is still such a fun game. It's also a deck building game. But I think this is probably one of my favorite games to play with people. We've also got this new game in called Love Formula. You get to build a deck that helps you go on special dates. This one can be really fun for couples or people who just like the romantic side of things. And lastly, we've got a game that everybody knows and loves, Uno. You want to play around with me while you're here? I know it's not official business, but I don't mind at all. Okay, I'll open it up and shuffle. Okay, I'll deal your cards. One for me, one for you. One for me, one for you. I think the number's five with this game. Do you know the rules? Okay. We'll go with five then. Oh, I think I've got some good cards. I hope you've got a few good ones too. I'll go first. Nice one. And I'm gonna do, change it to green. Oh no, you changed it back to yellow? Well, good thing I have one. Oh no, now I have to draw two. At least it's still yellow. Uh-oh, you're changing it to red? I don't have any red, so I guess I'll have to draw. Finally got a red. Uno, already? Well, I'm gonna change the color to blue. Oh no, that was exactly the card that you had. Dang, you're pretty good at this game. Just remember that when you're doing the serving, Try not to win too much so you can make the customer feel as good as possible, all right? Okay, I know you will. You're going to be really great at this job. I'm so excited for you to start working here. So I'll let you just go ahead and snack on some of those things without me bugging you too much. But I hope you find them really delicious. And if you need me at all, you can just wave me right over. All right. Wow, it looks like you really enjoyed your meal. I'm so glad to hear that. How was everything? Oh, it was? Oh my gosh, that makes me so happy. Y'all let our baker know that you loved everything. We make it all here fresh every single day. Yeah, of course. So your homework is going to be to look over the menu, try to memorize it, but it doesn't have to be perfect. You can always reference it. We're not too strict about that around here. And... Oh, I almost forgot. You'll need to pick your cow ears. It determines what kind of cow maid you're gonna be. So I have these three options for you here. The first one are these super adorable 
candy ears. They have this cute little candy charm here. And a cute little rainbow charm on this side. I love the jewels on them. And the little rings right here. These are super adorable. If you're kind of a bubbly personality, these would represent you really, really well. We also have some darker cat ears for our moodier servers. Yeah, it's also got some little piercings here along the sides. And the gems are red on this one. They're also really, really soft. I love these ones so much. They're very similar to mine. And then the last pair is more of like a classic pair here. We've got this really nice orange kind of pinky inside. A few of the cute little piercings here and a couple on top. Really, really good pair of starter ears if you're not super sure what you want to be and you kind of want to grow into the role. So which of these three do you like best? You want to just start with these? I totally get that. That's a very good choice. So I'll go ahead and just place them on you. Perfect. And of course, you'll also need your uniform. So you have your cow dress underneath and then your maid dress on top. And this headband you just put right over the cow ears. Yeah, of course, here you are. I can't wait for your first day here. Do you start tomorrow officially? Okay, well I'll be working tomorrow too, so I'll see you then. Okay, get home safe. Bye-bye.